Hi everyone. Here's a little tutorial on how to convert one of your video clips into an animated GIF file. We'll use the Power Director program to edit and prepare our clip. Then use the Free Format Factory program to convert it to an animated GIF. Since an animated GIF is usually something that you embed into a website or add to an email or use as an avatar or whatever, you'll usually want it to be kind of small. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use a clip with a 4 by 3 standard definition aspect ratio. Now here's an old clip taken from some old home movies that were taken long, long ago. And, uh, well, this should work fairly well for creating an animated GIF. So I'm going to put this clip into track number one so I can trim out a short segment that will be suitable as an animated GIF file. The first thing I'll do is to unlink the audio and then just delete it. Then I'll locate a good starting point and use the split tool to split the clip. Then just simply delete everything in front of the starting point. Now I'll locate the end of my desired sequence and again split and delete. Okay, but rather than an animated GIF that just repeats, I'd rather have an animated GIF that continuously loops. So I'll copy this edited clip and then paste the copy right next to the original. Now, with this copy selected, I'll open PowerDirector's Power Tools. Once the Power Tool Windows opens, put a check mark in the video in reverse box. Then close the Power Tools window and return to the main Power Director screen. And now, as we can see, this copy will play backwards or in reverse. In movie mode, when I play back these two clips, it looks like I have a pretty fluid loop, a suitable loop for an animated GIF. Okay, so the next step is to open this loop in a program that can convert the loop into an animated GIF. I'm going to use the Free Format Factory program because, well, it's free. <laughs> and it works very well for all kinds of conversion jobs. But any video to GIF conversion program will do. So, I'll open the Format Factory program. If you want to designate a specific output folder, you can do that here. Next, click on the Video button, and then locate and choose GIF as the conversion format. And now, you can import your video file. Next, click on the Output button. In the Output window, there's a list of options. And as you can see, the default resolution for this conversion is set to 176 by 144. However, if you click here, a drop-down menu will open that contains a number of other available resolutions. But since I want a small animated GIF, I'll stick with the default resolution. The only change I'm going to make is to increase the frame rate from 5 to 15, but you can do your own experimentation and find a frame rate that works best for you. Then click on OK. And now that you're back on the main screen, simply click on Start to begin the conversion to an animated GIF. Once the conversion is completed, go to your Format Factory Output folder and locate your new animated GIF. For me, the easiest way to preview my new animated GIF is to just right-click on it and then open it in Internet Explorer. And that's it. You have now turned one of your video clips into a looping animated GIF file.
Now, as I said at the beginning of this tutorial, this tutorial is only intended to demonstrate how to prepare a video clip and then convert it to an animated GIF file. Once you have an animated GIF, the method in which you would apply or embed it into various websites or various emails may vary depending on that particular website or email provider. So, you'll need to do a little research to find out what the best method is to embed your GIF. One thing you can do is to upload your GIF to a free file sharing site like Mediafire. And, as shown here, once uploaded, there are many URL sharing options available that may help you apply your GIF for your intended purposes. And that's it! How to convert one of your video clips into an animated GIF file.